Is your dog's dandruff driving you crazy? Or these are five natural remedies that are surprisingly effective. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the button to sign up for notifications. And then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. If your dog has a pile of dandruff, you're probably wanting to do something about it. And you're wondering, like, is there more than just what my vet suggests? Dandruff is just dead skin. And if you're dealing with excessive dandruff, we're, we're dealing with excessive amounts of dead skin. So after brushing Pippi, if you guys want to have a look at what comes out of her fur on top of this black binder all those white flecks not something you especially want to see in your dog one of the big things you can do to help your dog with dandruff is adding in some of the really good positive fats that make can make a really big difference for overall skin health omega-3 fatty acids are pretty key but one in particular you probably hadn't haven't heard of it's called this it's hemp oil Hemp is also really rich in the omega-3s. Um, some of the dogs don't respond as well, especially those with dandruff, uh, to say some of the more traditional omega-3 fatty acids, such as those found in flax oil or even fish oil. Hemp oil is another really good option. I've had a number of dogs and dog owners report like this stuff really worked. So for based on this hemp and based on Pippi's size, that would be about one tablespoon twice a day. I also suggest starting out with a smaller dose for the first two to three days, just making sure your dog tolerates that well and there's no vomiting diarrhea. Next, I want you to consider safflower oil. So safflower is a really healthy natural vegetable oil. Um, kind of looks, if you look at the picture on the bottle here, it kind of looks like a sunflower. The biggest thing about safflower is that it's got the highest percent of a thing called natural ceramides. And these are sort of relating to these healthy fats that make up the big barrier, the natural skin barrier. A real easy thing to do is you can give it to your dog orally as well as topically. You know, pretty typical dose, about a tablespoon per 50 pounds of body weight once or twice daily. And you can also put it on your dog's skin. Third, you've got to get more moisture in the air. We gotta get more moisture into your dog's skin. Because as you know yourself, when your house is especially dry, say this time of year, it's the winter time, your skin is dying out prematurely, and guess what? There's more dry flaky skin, AKA dandruff. I'm hoping you didn't see any dandruff fall out of that hair, but if you did, it's because it's winter, it's dry, probably don't have this thing running enough. So what can you do? Like the easiest thing is just get yourself an inexpensive humidifier. You add some water, you keep that, keep that going in your house, especially where your dog is spending most of his or her time. What I really like to do is not only just add in the water, but I'm also, I'm adding in, you know, there's probably two to four cups of water, but I'm also adding in 20 drops of this and it's lavender essential oil. Lastly, there are a couple of shampoos I want you to consider. First, I've discussed in the past the use of Selsun Blue. Gasp, yes, a over-the-counter shampoo. This one is used for people. Um, they actually now have a botanical herb variety. Some of the thought is that some of the people, along with uh, some of the dogs that have excessive dandruff, will have like an underlying uh, fungal infection. How would you do it? You'd sort of lather up your dog, similar to how you're gonna shampoo your dog anyway. You're gonna leave that on for a full 10 minutes, then thoroughly rinse it off. Um, I would encourage you to do it as a maximum of twice a week initially, um, you know, the first couple weeks, then going down to once a week. You're gonna know within the first sort of two weeks or so whether or not this is being effective or not. So the last but not least remedy I want you to consider is a natural shampoo. It's actually my stinky dog shampoo, which can work really well for our dogs that have dandruff. One, we're starting out with green tea. Two, we're gonna be using two tablespoons of this concentrated soap. It's called Castile soap. Three, we're gonna be using 
10 drops of lavender essential oil and four we're going to be using two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar so all those in different combination uh, can do multiple things to be really beneficial for your dog's skin but in particular um, they can work really well for our dogs that have underlying allergies and secondary skin fungal infections that can play a big role in causing our dogs to have dandruff all this excess excessive dead dying skin no pippi will guzzle that as soon as she's already eating the, no no don't eat the She's eating the late. She's eating the top of the bottle. No pipster. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Entering Secrets on my top five natural remedies for dandruff and dogs. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.